and welcome back to another video for Adora Build. It's really great to have you here. And if you're watching for the first time, my name is Ruth and my little dog is called Pucky. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. And also I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel as well. Okay, so today we will be checking out Merida's Highland Games. Now this set was released in 2014 and the set number is 41051, which was featured in the film Brave. Now this set contains a lot of little different builds and some absolutely fantastic pieces in here as well, especially the way that they have created the brother bears. However, it does actually come with quite a small castle section. One of my viewers did ask if I could make Merida a much more grand castle. And so that's what I've tried to do today. And we can also check out some of the still images from the film as well. So you can see where I have actually taken some of my inspiration from too. I do already know where I'm going to be placing Merida's castle. And I also know that there is a little bit of limited space in that area as well. So I have made her castle much more grand, but I've also had to be quite mindful of space saving as well. So let's go take a look at it and see what you guys think. Okay, so here is my version of Merida's castle. And as you can see, I have kept some of the same elements. So you can see that these turret pieces I have kept, but I've um, increased those to two different sections. I've also added in the main gate as well. And as you can see here, I have actually changed out these purple pieces on the top to the grey. And a lot of these pieces are also the masonry brick pieces. Now, as you guys would have seen in some of the still images, one of the main features of this particular castle is the main turret. Now, I did try and capture this and wanted to really amplify the look of that particular part of Castle Dunbrock. Over this side, I have kept the main house section. However, I have just pushed that further back and I've also added in a tiled roof. There are also some additions that I will be making to this build, particularly once it gets placed into the Lego city. So I am actually planning to have more of a pathway leading down here. And I do also want to incorporate that beautiful stone bridge into my build somehow or another as well. I'm also intending to have more terrain sloping up this way, which will include more of a woodland forest vibe. So I have been working on creating some trees that are very similar to the trees that are featured in the movie. And once I've got my design finalized, I will do a video for those as well. I'll just let you guys check out the interior. So let's take a look at that now. I have kept the same look with the candelabras. I thought that that was actually a really nice feature of the interior build in the original set. However, I have tiled throughout. I did really want to capture that look of the old stone floors that were featured throughout the film. I've also updated this area quite a bit as well because I actually wanted to make sure that the furniture was more representative of gorgeous wooden furniture that was featured in the film. I have also been working on the bedroom section. However, I haven't quite finished that yet. One of the things that I do absolutely love about the original castle design are these beautiful sticker pieces with the purple flowers on it. So that's why I have placed a lot of the flower pieces throughout this build um, in order to tie in with the stickers. It was also very fortunate that I was able to get hold of some additional stickers for this set. I was quite pleased at being able to update the tapestry because in the original build they had us place that sticker onto a light grey tile and I don't think that it shows up very well. So I've actually updated the tapestry to a black background. So of course we can't go any further without discussing mini dolls. 
I do think that for the most part Merida does look absolutely fantastic. I love her skirt piece with the Celtic design along the bottom. I think that her torso piece also really is a great representation of the outfit that she had in the film and I also think that she's got a really beautiful face piece as well. However, I do have a few issues with her hair. I can't decide whether or not I like this hair piece or not because Merida's hair was such an important feature in the film. This particular hair piece just doesn't quite do it justice. I do think that some of the other Disney princesses have ended up with some amazing hair, particularly Jasmine and Elsa, and I think that they look absolutely stunning. Let me know your thoughts about Merida's hair in the comment section below. I'd really like to find out whether or not this is just me or whether or not other people feel the same way. Of course, I have included the three brothers up here as well. And I have slightly modified the pieces that were included in the official set. And I thought that, that was actually quite a nice place for them to be featured. One more addition that I would really like to make to this build would be to include Merida's beautiful horse, Angus. So I do actually have to have a little bit of a think about how that's going to work because Angus was never actually released as part of the official set. I've also got plans to include a bit of a stable area for him just down in here where there is actually a little bit of space. Hopefully all the additions that I plan to make on this castle build will be completed by the time this goes into my Lego city so that then you'll be able to see all of those additions in that video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Also feel free to subscribe to my channel as well. Let me know your thoughts on this build and I really look forward to seeing you again um, in my next video. Take care. Bye bye. I wonder if you can be a shy horse called Angus.